Hey guys, Pearl 1701 here. Today we're re we're reviewing part one of the two Doctors from season 22. We got the second Doctor and Jamie back, Patrick and Frazier. And immediately there's this phenomenon that happens whenever Troughton's in an episode I call Troughton Steals the Show. And what happens in this phenomenon is that Troughton Steals the Show. Troughton is great. I always love when he shows up in multi-Doctor stories. <clears throat> I love the opening few minutes with him and Jamie. I like how I like how at the very beginning it's actually in black and white before it transitions to color. I wish it had held the black and white just a little longer, but I love the fact it's there just as a nod to the black and white episodes of the Troughton era. I love that they sneak in the running gag of, look at the size of it. Oh, yes, it's a big one, Jamie. Yeah, I like the little innuendo. I know Patrick and Frazier were fond of making that joke, so I like the fact they were able to get it into this. That's funny. Get it into this. Huh? But I love those few minutes at the beginning we get with the second Doctor and Jamie. You, you almost start to think you're watching a second Doctor episode before it does cut away to Six and Perry. I like that. And I like how he starts getting frustrated with Destari, which to me, Destari's, you know, being right, I think, there. I mean, you don't really have the right. I can't tell my scientists to back off here just because the Time Lords are upset about it. No. I'm with Destari on that one. And I like the fact Troughton gets so frustrated. Oh, you pig headed imbecile! And I like how. Oh, he looks at uh, Jamie. Oh, what are you looking at? Oh, I'm just admiring your negotiation skills. Because the second doctor had mentioned earlier about let me do all the talking. Just admiring your negotiation skills. <laughs> I'm enjoying all that. It's interesting because as much as I think of the second doctor as the fun, innocent doctor, <laughs> it's fun when he gets actually frustrated. You pig headed little imbecile! <laughs> Yeah, I'm having so much fun with with the second Doctor and Jamie that I'm, I'm I'm always sad when it switches to the sixth Doctor and Perry. Now, I've seen the two Doctors before. It's not the first time I've seen it. It has been a while since I've watched it, but I've seen it a couple times before. So, uh, I'm enjoying that, and I do like that as soon as the Doctor realizes when he's checking the one guy to make sure he's still alive, or which he isn't, um... When he realizes the Suntarans, he just tells Jamie to run. Run, Jamie, save yourself! And then he's like, whoops, Suntarans. It's nice to see the Suntarans back. <laughs> they aren't as effectively utilized as I'd like in this story as a whole. We don't see them much in part one. The actress playing the female, uh, An 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 Anzagram, or whatever they're called, Anagram, whatever, um... Pierce, Jacqueline Pierce, is that her name? I think she's from Blake 7. Um, I think she was one of the main people from Blake 7. My memories of Blake 7 are very fuzzy, but I believe she played one of the main cast in Blake 7. I really just need to get Blake 7 and watch it one of these days. <coughs> um, she's good in this. I like the idea of her having been one of those worker people, but with all the experiments that's done to her, she's become... Kind of too clever for everybody's own good, and that she's planned all this out. You know, even the doctor points that out. Well, you could make this such and such thing, you know, super smart, but I, I'm not saying it would be a good idea. It'd still be a stupid thing to do. I love that. Uh, so at this point, we still don't know Destari's working with her, because since it looks like he was drugged and just either killed or taken, and of course the sixth doctor thinks he's been killed, so we don't know about that little twist yet. The guy playing. The guy playing the other Androgram, the one that likes cooking and wants to eat Jamie, the guy playing him looks like he's having fun with it. Uh, I, I never really liked that character much, but the guy playing it does do a pretty good job. And I like the fact that even though he's primitive, he's still smart in some ways, like reminding the female and, you know, don't forget the proud blood that runs through you. You know, he's proud to be an Androgram, even if they're not sophisticated and culturally intelligent he's proud of what he is and um i like i like that that uh pride and that kind of simplicity i i enjoy the way that's written they don't just make him you know a dumb thug he is proud in his own way of his heritage and i, and I respect that 